Okay, so Assassin's Creed Mirage is releasing in around 60 days now, and of course, we're all excited. We all hype to finally go back to the roots of Assassin's Creed and play a pretty cool and unique story with Basim, a character from Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the previous title, that we all fell in love with and really enjoyed learning about his story and his backstory as well. But one thing that fans definitely do not like are microtransactions. Now, in recent years, microtransactions have become the bane of most gamers' existence whenever it comes to online service titles, free-to-play games, or even titles that cost full price of like £60 upwards of maybe £80 to £90, depending on which edition of the games you get. This has also been plague in the Assassin's Creed titles since Assassin's Creed Origins, and we can kind of say before that. Now, in the very beginning, of the original titles, you know, AC1, 2, Brotherhood Revelations, 3, Black Flag, and even Unity, there weren't really microtransactions, but there were pre-order bonuses, and if we move further into Assassin's Creed Unity, yes, there were microtransactions, but they were more in terms of extra missions or DLC. When the game progressed into what is to become the RPG titles, Solemn with Origins, that's where we saw a definitive switch in gameplay and, of course, microtransactions. Introduced these mythical, these extravagant, these insane cosmetics that of course you had to buy with real world money or Helix credits. Now Helix credits are the in-game purchasing currency for these RPG titles but of course you needed to pay with real life money to actually get access to this. This just then expanded exceptionally when we went into Assassin's Creed Odyssey which is one of my least favourite AC games and it was just terrible. It was horrible. I mean if you look on your screen now which hopefully you are when you're watching this video, you'll see just how bad these microtransactions were. In previous titles, if you pre-ordered the game, you maybe got an extra gear set, you know, some weapons, and of course, some outfits. But all of this gear was linked to the game, to the time period, to the setting, and of course, to the character. But in Odyssey, this wasn't the case. You know, we had flaming swords, we had flaming armor. It just kept getting so outlandish that it took away from the whole history aspect of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And to be fair to Odyssey, the world is incredible. It is. But with all these microtransactions, purchasing this, purchasing that, it just got downright horrible to play. I mean, you even got advertisements when you logged into the screen to actually play the game. That is just ridiculous to me and I really didn't like it and when we got into Valhalla this happened again and to be honest I feel like it was worse. Yes okay there were some DLC and extra content that you could get for the game and the DLC was free which is great everyone loves free DLC but the microtransactions were horrible. Most of the fans like myself we wanted grounded outfits I mean if we had a proper assassin outfit for Eivor hey maybe I wouldn't mind paying some Helix credits for it but we didn't get that. We got some more outlandish costumes and outfits and weapons all with some different abilities and all that sort of thing in this game and well yes you could purchase them from Reader who is our little merchant that could somehow travel through time and whatever in the RPG games I'm not going to go into that because it's silly on its own accord but that's what we got you know you could go around the world and find these different opals and which are gems to find this reader and you know purchase these outfits but most of the time you are only going to get them through buying the microtransactions and actually using your own money to purchase them and then things got worse when we got into the assassin's creed ragnarok dlc it went full mythical it went full mythical rpg and it just gave us so many weird costumes and stuff that felt so outlandish that i said that word quite a lot now i didn't like it and i went away from it i went back to play the older games especially ac unity because it is a good game okay it is but then mirage came out came out mirage the trailer came out and everyone got excited like yes oh my god mirage finally we're going back to the roots we got basim a character people wanted to play as in the valhalla we're finally going to learn about him we've got the assassins back we've got this singular open world with the parkour possibilities there's some cool combat it's gonna be good it's gonna be fun and then a few days ago the game was rated in germany and it referenced a form of microtransactions which are contrary to popular statements denying that there would be any now including in these microtransactions you will have bonus levels which we know about because obviously if you pre-order the game um you can obviously get that extra dlc um which is good they've ubisoft have always done that you know extra content for some of that pre-orders great cool i'm all for it skins meaning costumes cosmetics 
Again, terrible idea. If there are some that look assassiny, so to speak, I'm all for it. If not, just leave it behind. You don't have to purchase them. The virtual coins and in-game currency is a given. That's how you're going to purchase the skins. Subscriptions. Now, this is where it gets a bit tricky because with subscriptions, they could mean their new Ubisoft Plus subscription service, which you can get on PlayStation and Xbox and PC. They could just mean that because AC Mirage is released in day one on Ubisoft Plus, which is great for people because technically you only have to pay, like, I think it's under £20 or under $20 to actually play Mirage, which is great. Do it. This is where things also get a little bit tricky and it's upgrades. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean upgrades in your actual type of game you purchase? You know, we have the standard, deluxe or digital edition. Is that what it means? Or can you actually purchase upgrades for your character, which would make no sense because it's not an online game? Are they just letting people bypass, you know, the story and, you know, upgrading the character? That'd be a bit stupid. The next thing that really gets me is the disabling advertising. Now, if this is anything to go by, again, this is coming from Access the Animus, who are very, very solid with their findings throughout the entirety of Assassin's Creed, you know, been following for a long time. Does this mean you, you can pay to stop the advertising on the menu? Because if that's the case, then that's just ridiculous. And it's definitely something that shouldn't be in the game. Now, trueachievement.com actually reached out to Ubisoft and they wanted to get some statements on what the actual um, scenario is behind the scenes with these microtransactions. Now, Ubisoft has stated that Assassin's Creed Mirage will feature some cosmetic bundles that will be purchasable directly on first party stores at launch, meaning their own stores as well as PlayStation and Xbox store and of course Ubisoft Plus. They do want to say that these will be optional and have no impact on player progression which is great you know be cool you don't have to purchase them but maybe give us stuff that looks cool and fits in with the setting and time period that would be great you know they also go on to say that there apparently is no XP based progression in Mirage, which obviously is good, but then what does the upgrades mean? You know, that that's what we all <laughs> want to think about. Now, a few days ago, I obviously tweeted this out and I was really a bit frustrated about it all, but a YouTuber by the name of Jonathan, who, you know, I've been friends for a while and, you know, He's a really good YouTuber, but he does leak a lot of shit and you don't like him, which is fair enough. But the post has now been removed. He shared with, well, in this little tweet longer, whatever it is, an image from Assassin's Creed Mirage showcasing a very mythical, abstract looking ass cosmetic pack advertised straight on the store. And it does not look good. Now, the reason for this video is I love Ubisoft and I like their games and I love playing their games. But these microtransactions are out of hand. Hand, okay, and they're not out of hand in the way of oh my god, they need to stop completely. They're out of hand in the way of that they're out of touch with what the players want. Okay, maybe some people do love these outlandish looking costumes and characters, but seeing as Ubisoft are supposed to be going back to the roots of Assassin's Creed, it doesn't seem right for them to have this sort of um, cosmetic packs within the game. If they were to announce and release some, you know, different costumes and outfits that fit in with the time period, you know, or give us some through actual in-game achievements, as you all know in Assassin's Creed 2, if you complete a certain objective, or I think it's Brotherhood, either one, you can actually unlock a certain costume for Ezio, which just looks cool. You know, you unlock it in-game, you don't have to do it. The amount of times I've played through 82 and just haven't done it because I didn't know about it, it's good. And that's how I think it should be within this new Assassin's Creed Mirage, this new take on the series. So this is an open call to Ubisoft. Please, please, please stop giving us these outlandish, quite frankly, ridiculous looking cosmetics and give us something grounded. You know, you wanted to go back to a grounded, more assassin-y, oldish type of game. Well, give us some cosmetics that feature that, not this RPG sort of thing that you've had for the last four years, four or five years, however long it's been. Give us something that fits in with the game and we can all be happy. Or, you know, just stop the microtransactions completely, uh, but we all know that won't happen. So ladies and gentlemen, in the comment section down below, let me know what you think about these microtransactions and if they impact your thoughts and opinions on a game even before you've played it. And also if you purchase them in game, let me know down below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, I'd like to be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you are new to stay up to date with latest and greatest Assassin's Creed information and hope to see you all in the next video. Bye for now and have a great day.